Welcome to my humble abode. It's not finished. Can you tell? <laughs> Remember how I said there would be a couple of ugly weeks? I tried to make the background look at least semi-nice. <laughs> I have had a hell of a day, but I'm not gonna get into that right now because I'm so excited to see chapter three of Ruby Volume 6. I can't even describe how excited I am. This episode is called The Lost Fable and the thumbnail is who we now know as Salem holding what looks like the staff that the, I guess, King of Vale in the intro was holding? One of Osborne's past lives, anyway, we assume. This episode is 26 minutes and 35 seconds long, which taking off the intro and the short credits is the longest episode of Ruby ever made. E. <laughs> I thought this chapter would be shorter than last week's and it's like twice the length, <laughs> almost twice the length. I'm, I'm so excited, I just, I need to watch it. Also, I love how last week I was like, I'm gonna film it on this side from now on. And now that I'm out here, I need to sit on this side because <laughs> that side casts weird shadows on my face. Stay close and move fast. Darkness cannot last No hope, no path But we got a dream to catch And we cannot wait Trust the way we're made The sparrow's born to fly the hyped for an episode of Ruby. I also don't know all the words to the intro yet. <laughs> Bad fan. Oh, I'm shaking with anticipation. Locked away by her cruel father, Salem was a girl who desired cool but one thing, freedom. She lived in a time when kings and their kingdoms were plentiful, when men and women were capable of greatness and magic was a gift from the gods that all could wield. And yet there she sat within her tower. The relics? Until one day, a legendary hero came to brave the challenges within the tower's walls. Oz? Maybe? The people of the lands knew him as Ozma. Ozma. Unlike those who had come before, this warrior was not driven by the prize of the young maiden's hand. He fought only for righteousness, and his pure heart and courageous soul prevailed. They escaped the wretched fortress, and yet something bound them together. Ozma had been ready to give his life for justice countless times, but now saw a woman worth saving it for. And Salem, to her surprise, found her freedom not in the outside world she had yearned for, but in the eyes of the man that had saved her. So, where should we go now? Wherever you'd like. The two fell deeply in love, planned Is that the same guy that voices Oscar? World, and lived happily Least, They're so sure. like Zelda and Link, such oh, a Zelda and the Link. The infallible thing. hero of legend oh. fell ill, and where all of the beasts and blades of the world had fallen short, a single sickness prevailed. How could the gods let this happen? The gods, 
Brothers of light and darkness, creation and destruction. Salem prayed they would see the injustice that had befallen her love and make things right. The domain of light was a sacred place. It was here the elder brother dwelled beside his fountain of life and creation. It was here where mankind would fall to ruin. I love watching the girls in the background. I understand your pain, but you demand of me that which I cannot make so. Life and death are part of a delicate balance. So, you won't do it then? To disrupt the cycle of... Th that's not fair. That's not fair! Let him rest. No. The God of Darkness. None dared to enter his home. That's As when Salem and what is monstrosities now. emerged from his blackened pools of annihilation. And so you must understand the Dark Lord's surprise when he found a lone woman kneeling before him. Oh. He's like an Akelavi. Ooh. Ooh, that's creepy. Salem understood it well. She Grim. told him of her loss and professed that she knew only he could answer her prayers, all while careful to make no mention of his elder. Rise, child, and let your faith in me be rewarded. What is this? Where am I? It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. What have you done? I have done what I please, brother. You may bask in the powers of creation, but you do not own them. This is not creation. Do not lecture me! <laughs> I will do what I must to maintain order. Oh, come on, they can't do that. No, That's an Infinity War reference. Bring him back! You dare into my domain and show such disrespect! Ozma! I am abiding by the rules we agreed upon. Rules that I now see work ever in your favor. And yet the day a mortal comes to pray at my feet before your own, so do your right to lay your judgment upon me. Oh my goodness. I know we have our differences, but I have not come here with the aim to control you. The same, however, cannot be said for her. This woman came to you only after I denied her pleas. Pleas that would have disrupted the balance that you and I created. Together. Then it seems I owe you an apology. Allow me to correct my mistake. No! You... You monster! 
Earth. Give him back to me. Give him back! came to me. I did pity you. But it is clear now that your selfishness and arrogance have led you astray. What did you do to me? I have made you immortal. Immortal? You cannot die. You cannot be with your beloved. So, so long, long as this world turns, you shall walk its face. You must learn the importance of life and death. Only then may you rest. Salem was a prisoner once again. Her fruitless attempts to reunite with Ozma eventually became nothing more than acts of spite and defiance against the gods. <laughs> were not as powerful as they seemed. She had lied to them, turned them against one another. They were fallible. If she were to turn humanity against light and darkness, she could rid herself of their curse. Or at the very least, she could make them suffer. <coughs> Salem traveled from one kingdom to another, telling tales of how she stole immortality from the gods, welcomed any swordsman to cut her down, and demonstrated her powers. With the kings and queens in awe, she pulled them deeper into her scheme. She painted them pictures of a time when they would no longer have to watch their loved ones wither and die, when they could claim the powers of their creators for themselves, and in turn perfect their own design. <laughs> to do was destroy their old masters. The gods had hoped that Salem would learn from her eternal curse. And she did. She learned that the hearts of men are easily swayed. I have so many thoughts I don't know how to voice any of them. Like I'm just trying to take all this in. no greater punishment we could bestow upon you. I'll come back. I'll tell the rest of the world of this massacre. Build a new army. You do not understand. There is no one left. You are all that remains of humanity. This planet was a beautiful experiment. But it is merely a remnant of what it once was. We will learn from this failure. I hope that you will learn from yours. No! You can't leave! You can't leave! Come back! Still demanding things of your creators. the universe. She cursed everything. Everything but herself. She wandered the face of the planet, awaiting a death that would never come. Until fate led her back to the land of darkness. 
This was it. This had to be it. The brothers grim, the pools of black that continued to give rise to horrific nightmares. If the fountain of life granted her immortality, then surely the pools of grim would finally take it away. She was wrong. Of course. This force of pure destruction could not destroy a being of infinite life. Instead, it created a being of infinite life with a desire for pure destruction. And in time, she would find her adversary. Where am I? We are between realms. I'm afraid a tragedy has befallen your home at the hands of my brother. We have chosen to depart this world, but in our absence, I would like to offer you the chance to return to it. I don't understand. Mankind is no more, yet your world remains, and in time, your kind will grow to walk its face once again. However, without our presence, they will be but a fraction of what they once were. Creation, destruction, choice, and knowledge were the ideals upon which humanity was made. Now, I leave them behind with the hope that you may learn to remake yourselves. If brought together, these four relics will summon my brother and I back to your world. And humanity will be judged. If your kind has learned to live that in harmony with good. one another and set aside their differences, then we shall once again live among you. And humanity will be made whole again. But if your kind is unchanged, if you demand our blessings while still fighting amongst yourselves, then man will be found irredeemable and your world will be wiped from existence. Until your task is complete, you will reincarnate, but in a manner that ensures you are never alone. I'm sorry, but that world just isn't as dear to me without her. If I may, I'd rather return to the, the afterlife voice. to see Salem. You will not find her there. You mean, she isn't gone? Salem lives, but the woman you hold dear in your memories is gone. Heed this warning. Where you seek comfort, you will only find pain. So, will you- I'll do it. Very well. Our creation rests within your hands. Jesus. That is a lot of pressure. And so, Ozma was reborn. Where am I? had found himself in a world completely unfamiliar to him. Cities looked different. Creatures known as the Faunus bore fangs and claws and were locked away in cages. And without the blessing of the gods, no one could perform magic like mankind was once capable of. No one but himself and a woman known as the Witch. During his years of travel, he heard the same frightened whispers that spoke of a terrifying sorceress who commanded dark powers in the wilds among the beasts and monsters. 
Ozma was convinced that this witch was Salem and decided he needed to see what she had become. Should have heeded the gods' warning, Oz. Call it magic or call it something stronger. But in that moment, the two knew exactly who it was that stood before them. What do we do now? Whatever we like. As Salem and Ozma recounted the events which had brought them back together, each withheld parts of their story. Salem, fearing Ozma would reject her, blamed the end of the world on the gods. Ozma, still unsure of where the truth lay, kept his task and the relics a secret. Though time passed and all seemed well, Ozma's conversation with the God of Light still lingered in his mind. He had found happiness, but humanity seemed more divided than ever before. Are you surprised? This world is quite literally godless. These humans have no one to guide them. Perhaps that's all they need. What are you saying? We could become the gods of this world. Our powers surpass all others. Our souls transcend death. We can mold these lands into whatever we want. What you want. Create the paradise that the old gods could not. The hearts of men are easily swayed. The two amassed a following. That following grew into a prosperous kingdom. And at the head of that kingdom blossomed a family. Daughters? Are they the maidens? Are we sure this is right? You said we needed to bring humanity together. In order to do that, we have to spread our word and destroy those who will deny it. What are we doing? <gasps> This isn't what he asked of me. What did you say? Mother! Father! Look! It was a miracle. Their children could perform magic. But what should have been a joyous occasion was short-lived. Ozma told Salem everything. The true reason the God of Light had brought he, him back. The relics that lay scattered him. around the world and the day of judgment he had been told to prepare for. Don't you see? None of that matters anymore. Why spend our lives trying to redeem these humans when we can replace them with what they could never be?
Thus began a long and painful cycle of death and rebirth for Ozma. Some lives were spent in mourning. Many were spent attempting to forget it all. But no matter what, his mind would eventually turn back to the task he had been burdened with. And as the centuries went on, Ozma began to learn the importance of living with the souls with which he had been paired. But no matter where or how he lived, her presence was always felt. If humanity were ever to stand a chance of being united, one thing was clear. He had to destroy Salem. Knowing he could never rid the world of her through any mortal means, Ozma sought out the power of the relics. Armed with my knowledge, he believed he could fulfill his promise to the God of Light. Where are the other relics? He asked me his questions. What powers do they possess? And though I gave him my answers... How do I destroy Salem? Not all of them were to his liking. You can't. God damn it, Oz. Oh my gosh. I knew it. You can't. The look on Yang's face when she heard that. That was literally like 25 minutes of story time, but it was so good, so beautiful. Holy crap, did that answer just about every question we've had since the moment we learned about Salem. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to take all of that in. There was so much there. This has been thought out since the beginning. This is how it was always going to be. And it's so exciting to see it unfolding before our very eyes. I don't really know what else to say about that right now. There is so much to unpack. And I can't even process everything that I've seen. I need to watch this over and over again before the boobcast on Saturday. Just to process the vast amount of information that they just gave us. I'm not going to express too many thoughts. I know I was quiet for a lot of that reaction. I was just taking it in. I feel like a lot more of what I was thinking and feeling was on my face than anything. Plus, I have to do my Extra Life 12 hour stream like an hour ago. <laughs> I'm stunned. I'm stunned by that episode. I bet you that their four daughters were the four maidens. That's the only thing I'm going to express is the four daughters of Salem and Ozma are the four maidens. And Ozpin didn't gift them his power. They were born with it. I can see why he wanted to keep all of this a secret. Because the fact that they now know this, that is a hell of a lot of pressure. I'm not going to express too many more thoughts. Like I said, I have the boot cast on Saturday, so if you want to come see us talk about this for two hours, definitely watch that when it's live streamed on my Twitch. Holy crap. Kruby, you just round of applause for Kruby, please. Holy crap, they outdid themselves. That was amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching my reaction to this. I'll see you on Saturday for the boopcast, or Sunday if you're watching it on YouTube. I'll see you next week for stuff. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>